Hey guys, welcome back. Got a brand new feature for y'all and I'm really excited to announce it because it is of high demand. My name is Zach Calhoun. I am the co-founder of cloudpano.com. If you don't know who we are, we are a 360 virtual tour software platform. Use our platform to create virtual tours, sell stuff, create experiences, have fun. We're excited to partner with you in the long term with your virtual tour business <clears throat> or whatever business entity you are coming at us with. Okay, so what is this new feature? It's called Parallax Transitions. This is a highly requested feature and I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. So in this example, I'm in this living room here. And if I want to feel like I'm walking through the space, when I have parallax transitions turned on, I click this button and you notice how it zooms into the space and then I'm in the bedroom, right? So then if I click right here, same thing with back to the living space area. So same thing, if I click the den, I'm zooming here, we see a little crossfade happen. So how do we do this and what are some important notes that help us here? So with this transition, remember we're creating 360 photos and creating a virtual tour. Um, so there's a few important elements here that I think will help you when you utilize this or when you're creating virtual tours for your clients or for yourself. Also notice, so a couple, a couple of things are happening. So the the software knows where the hotspot's located. So if, I, if I'm faced over here to the right towards this table, and I decide to click towards the bedroom, Parallax will kind of jump us over in that direction if you notice that. Now the initial view I see here is based upon the initial view that I set. Okay, that's really important. So you notice how I was facing, let's see, in this bedroom, and I'm facing towards the living room, but in this case, I have, initial, I have an initial view set to face back this way. This is why the couch is facing me instead of me facing the other direction. Now we can, we, we recently implemented a navigation setting, we call it natural view navigation, where you tell every pano in the virtual tour which way is north. Basically you just, it's called, we call it setting north point. When you do that, all it does is just tell the whole virtual tour, hey, I know where, everyone, where everyone's facing, we're all facing the same directions. And now you can use this parallax transition to really get that walk through feel and it's really powerful. So in this case, with parallax, it's gonna zoom in, it's gonna to move towards that, that transition and it's gonna feel nice. So I decided to pull up an example of a natural movement virtual tour of this house right here, plus the parallax transition. Let you guys kind of look at it and view for yourself what it really looks like to create a full walkthrough experience. So I have parallax transition turned on I'll show you how to turn it on in a moment. And I have this specific tour with our uh, with natural movement mode turned on and all my north points are set, at least for the downstairs. Okay, so I click front entry and it moves me into the space, right? So I click this, uh, this next hotspot and it takes me there really smoothly. So as you can see, if I wanna go to the kitchen, it's gonna pull me over there, right? So that's how that works. So if I'm gonna go back to that spot over there by the stairs, it kind of jumps me over to there, see? So it kind of creates this cool walkthrough experience and I know where I'm at, right? So, so this is what the power of par Parallax, it can do that. It can make it feel like we're just moving forward, like I just stepped forward, right? Really powerful, really important. Also has taken a ton of work behind the scenes. You'd be surprised at how complicated it is to create such a powerful, um, kind of almost portfolio of features to create this natural fe feeling and movement inside of your, your 360 virtual tour experience. So big credit, big ups to the, to the team for making this possible. So how do we turn this on? Well, it's real simple. We have a different video that walks you through natural movement navigation. So I won't go through it in full detail here, but basically you're gonna wanna set your North Point. I'm in natural movement mode. So my, nor my, my set North Point, um, option is up here. If I click these three dots, I can also um, create reset all and set initial view if I if I need to for my set initial view classic initial view mode. We're actually going to be um, adding a feature, add, adding back a feature where we can um, have a kind of a, a, a set initial view override for certain for certain panos 
uh, which I think is important for folks that uh, have specific needs. Uh, y'all have addressed that. Y'all have brought that up. So that's going to come for sure as well, too. So when you go into your settings and click navigation, in this case, I selected natural movement navigation, but the transition types, remember, we are transitioning from a, from different 360 photos. We have all kinds of options. The one I just showed you is called parallax. It gives us that, that walk through feel, that zoom in, walk through feel. Really important, really powerful. And most virtual tours will now be set to default parallax, okay? So if you come through the tour and, and set all your north, all your north points um, and your hotspots as well, what that does, it creates this cool natural um, movement and navigation inside your virtual tours, which you create for your clients or for yourself. So that's how you select parallax, just select right there. And this will kind of show you as well too what it looks like, this little video here. And then when you have natural, natural movement navigation turned on, your three options are initial view navigation, natural movement navigation, and or a hybrid of both. And again, I have a different video covering those three options. Um, and once you set your north point for each photo, so I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna set, set north point. So I, this, I'm, basically, I'm basically telling the photo, this way is north. Um, and then I am utilizing the transition parallax in this case. So also too, let's say you somewhat, you kind of forgot where this hot spot was located. Let's just say hypothetically, and you put it right here and you go uh, to the hot spot, you notice, oh look, I'm actually over here next to this couch. Well, in that case, you're gonna wanna go back to where you were. So in this case, the or this example is uh, the stairs to upper level photos right here. I'm just gonna move that back over to where I shot the photo, right? I didn't shoot this photo, but this is an example of what I'm talking about. So um, it's important to kind of remember where you took those photos when you come back later, you have a good feel for um, what your kind of experience you're gonna create with the Cloud Piano software. So I hope you enjoy that transition. It's really powerful, and uh, especially when it's, when it's combined with or laid over the um, natural movement navigation mode. Um, so since I created a walkthrough, full walkthrough experience, um, what's cool is that the on-site shooting for this, you don't have to actually take that much time, but it's an, it's an option for those in case you do want to create kind of some more dense photos. Uh, you can create that step-by-step -step walkthrough experience if, if it's something you like or or you need. All right. Thank, thank you so much, guys, for sharing this video. If you haven't already, check out Cloud Pano Pro Plus today. If you go to GoPro Plus on top of the screen, click Add to Cart, and join us inside our world. We're excited to have you as a member of Cloud Pano. Talk to you soon.